Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Get Jacked on Ark Survival Evolved. And what we're doing today is something really exciting. They just dropped the new update with a bunch of new content. They released two new dinosaurs, including the Dung Beetle and the new kind of smaller Spinosaurus guy. Uh, I haven't learned how to pronounce that one because this episode is all about the Dung Beetle. And as you can see, we're checking our bigger dinosaurs. Because we're going to be going out and we're going to find one of these guys. We're going to tame it and we're going to try it out. So, thank you all for all the support on the previous videos. And we're going to pick up our large animal feces and get this going. So, what we're doing is we're kind of searching for the large because that actually acts as a kibble for these guys. We'll jump across onto this guy, see if he can poop. Alright, he can. Awesome. So we just gotta get grab a couple of these. I am gonna bring a couple medium just in case and just to try them out and see how well the medium poop works as well if you don't have large dinos. But why don't we get started and here we go. Alright, so here we are. And I've picked my favorite cave. Uh, the biggest one, the one with the artifact of the pact. It's located right here. And this one, you can fly an Argent into. Oh, get your head out of that stone. Okay. But anyway, you can fly our Argent into this one. And we can take it around and kill everything and search for a dung beetle. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to search around this whole thing, fly around its whole innards, and we will find a dung beetle and tame it up. So here we go. Alright, and the... Huh? I, I've cleared out this whole cave. I've killed, like literally everything in it uh, there's pretty much nothing left here but I think I just finally found one <laughs> kind of at the last part of the cave I don't know if he came in he just spawned in or if I missed him but he's definitely here so let's get our large feces ready oh my gosh and I'm putting on bug spray I, you actually I learned you don't actually need bug spray but this will be just in case anything wanders by so let's see here Apologize for the glare from this stupid bug spray. We'll back out a little bit. Look at how awesome this guy is. Oh my gosh, he's so awesome. Let's feed this. Wow, holy crap. He's level 40, and that just did... Oh, wow, that did a lot. Okay, so that works really well. Uh, we only have two times boosted rate taming on this server. So, honestly, he's not too bad even on a normal server. But I think the problem is going to be finding these guys. As you can see... It might be difficult to find them, but this is the only one I actually found in this whole cave system. It might be because they're new, and we might be finding some more now that uh, I've cleared out the whole cave. Kind of cleared it. So hopefully we'll see more in these caves, but we'll get into the taming process here. I'm just kind of waiting because the first piece, don't get discouraged, always takes longer than all the rest. So this is much similar to like how you would tame a bat or a spider like I did in one of the previous videos but let's see if he's ready to eat now he's not hungry okay see it takes a lot longer the first time I'm sure after he gets out of this first eat the rest should fly by pretty easily so I'm not too worried about that so I'm kinda looking around seeing if we can find another one because it's always if you're making your way all the way to these caves it's it's usually a good idea to see how see how many you can tame all at once oh gosh a titan ball I didn't get rid of this guy. And uh, bug repellent does not repel these, so let's get rid of this guy. Okay, you're finished. So, uh, any dung beetles over in this area? Alright, I don't see any. They're really hard to see, too, because as you can see, these rocks, when I walk past these rocks, they kind of remind me of the dung beetles. Right here? Yeah, but I don't know. They're going to be kind of... Oh, that looks like a glitch spot. I do not want to go there. That looks like danger. Okay, alright, let's keep going. He should definitely be ready to eat now. I am really regretting putting on this bug spray. Gosh, I hate the visuals with it. Especially in the caves, it, it just makes it look horrible. We're gonna slowly sneak around the side of him. We don't want to make him angry. I'm not gonna mess this one up. Okay, because people seem to be having, at least on my server, some trouble finding these in the caves, so... I don't want to lose this guy or make him mad at me, so we're going to add our... Let's try this now. Oh, good. We're going to keep with large. We'll try a medium in here as well, but look at the taming effectiveness. It's perfect. It hasn't gone down at all. Oh, yeah. He's definitely eating faster now. 
Okay, let's try a medium. We'll put a medium in and just see. If you don't have any large laying around or if it's a crunch or something, I don't see why that would be a problem. But um, let's see how well this actually tames him up. His effectiveness is still at plus 19. This is I love the ones that you don't actually have to kibble feed, but you can actually get a perfect tame out of. There we go. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Medium wouldn't take too long, and it actually didn't lower his effectiveness either. So that's not bad at all. So let's stock back up with another large. As you can see, for a level 40 guy, super easy tame. And for how awesome these guys look, oh my gosh. This is easier than a spider and way cooler looking than a spider. I wonder how their stats kind of add up. But we'll kind of we'll see when <laughs> we'll see when we get it. I'm freezing cold now too, so okay, let's hurry up with your with your feeding. One more and we are good. Wow, I can't believe how how effective that is. It's insane. It's so nice to have a tame that isn't horrible. <laughs> But this is great. So let's get his last little food in here, and then we'll be able to take him back to base. Now, I'll actually be able to pick him up out of here with my Argentavis over there. So, okay, let's put this last one in, and here we go. Come on, get hungry. Come on, come on, come on. So close. Come on, man. All right, here we go. All right, so we've got the dung beetle. There it is. What a cool... That's cool. All right. And we can use him to actually get oil. Now, I'm all for that idea because the less I have to go out searching out in the water for oil, the better. So I'm going to add... Look at how low his weight is. His melee damage is decent. Health is 500. That's pretty decent for how small he is. But, oh my gosh, five weight? He can hold three poops. What the heck, man? And I do not believe, let's enable wandering and kind of put some poops out for him. I do not believe that they actually pick them up. Now, I think how it works is you actually put them into your inventory or into his inventory and it'll actually convert them. Uh, but it takes a decent amount of time. But let's see if, okay, let's see if these guys can, no, hmm, nope, definitely can't pick him up or even care. He's not even on, he's not even wandering. He doesn't even care that he's here. Okay, that's weird. Oh, I was following. He was following. Okay. But still, he's not moving around at all. That's really weird. Maybe just... I think... I have a feeling it might be just the in-cave mechanic. He's just not working well with that. So let's get him out of this cave and test this out. All right, now I've gotten him home safely, and I've put him in with the compies because they're uh, they're on wander and they're pooping and all that kind of stuff, and I feed them pretty regularly because they have to eat pretty often. So I'm gonna keep him in with here, and look at how awesome this guy is! Like, I think painting it would be an injustice. Like, he looks so cool unpainted. The coloring, that's awesome. I definitely want a ton of these guys. So now how it works is you actually leave them on wander. I haven't left them on for long enough. And you actually have to put the food or the poop into his inventory. He won't pick it up uh, out here. But you just kind of fill up his inventory and it'll produce oil. Now it will also, which is actually probably one of the cooler things, it's going to produce fertilizer as well. Now the small animal feces will do one fertilizer and two oil. The medium animal feces are going to give you two for fertilizer and four oil. And then the large animal feces are going to give you three fertilizer and six oil, which is awesome. Six oil for a large animal feces, I'm all about that. So this is going to be a really nice way. It seems like they're implementing all these different ways for these dung beetles and all that kind of stuff to for to have animals gather resources without actually having to leave like they've done with the frog and the other stuff so it's really exciting but other than that that's pretty much all i have on the dung beetle for you today if you like the video please hit that thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more content otherwise we'll catch you next time and see you later